Here it is going now, guys. Talk Nerdy here, back for another week of the TNC podcast. And I guess the intro is going to be the same as the previous month and a half. It's once again a gloomy outlook on the agenda, but hopefully we'll get through it with some sugary foods and yeah. some good Twitter questions. Because at the moment... That's what we do. That's all we have to live for. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay, Jack. you got a bit of a cold, haven't you? Yeah, just a touch. Open the door, a few sniffles. Yeah, yeah. You had a, yeah. You had a, you had a sore throat last week from your eventful weekend. It's because I'm feeling the punishment from Sky from the Norwich game to go to Manchester to dance a lot. That's what it is. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's the symptoms of, of being a lightweight fan, you could say. It's the symptoms of good vibes. <laughs> good vibes. Um, we lost again. Yeah. This time in another country. <laughs> I actually find it... Uh, Mate, I, by the way, we've got we've, yeah, got, a, we've got a Terry's Chocolate Orange, so, yeah, so let's make things a little bit happier. You have a, you have a nice little segment of that. Cheers, mate. And hopefully this, this mm. will soothe the pain a little. Mm. Very Christmassy as well. We need to stop eating so much, Jack. It annoys people. You know what? Can, I get, my, can, I, get, can I get my moan of the week in? Mm. Wow, really early doors. Yeah. Someone on the previous YouTube video, podcast, goes... They said this massive spiel about, you know, what they thought, which is fair enough. What well, I thought of what? And then just they just and they just finished it off with, and by the way, stop eating on camera. It's really annoying. I'm sorry. We're not going to stop eating because the time that we film this is dinner time. And how do you expect someone to go an hour with eating food without eating? Food? Exactly. You've got big biceps to maintain. <laughs> I haven't, but I've got a big stomach to maintain. Yeah. So you know. We both mm. have things to maintain, and if we don't eat throughout this hour, you'll see us almost perish away, like Friday night Norwich Cardiff. City's defence. Um, Friday night in Cardiff. Yeah, that's that already doesn't sound like a glamorous <laughs> thing, does it? Exactly, and I think um, Cardiff is actually a nice place to be fair. Please tell me you're having a bubble <laughs> bath. Cardiff is a nice place. Oh, Jack. Have you been to Cardiff? Really? Have you been to Cardiff? Really? Have you been to Cardiff? Really? You haven't been to Cardiff? Really? Yeah, yes, it's really? a really nice place. Mate. South Wales Mate. has a beautiful coastline. Mate. Yeah, all right, all right. The coastline, hmm. I can accept that. The but valleys. You're a Yarmouth boy. You've got roast in the glasses on when it comes to the coastline. Why? Yarmouth Beach is probably one of the best in Norfolk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> You've had a stinker there. It is. You've had a genuine stinker there. Name me five better beaches in Norfolk. Okay. Sea Pauling is, is definitely <laughs> better than Yarmouth. All day long. All day long. Okay, maybe it is. Wells. Yeah, Wells. Horsey. No, I don't agree with that. Horsey? <laughs> Horsey? <laughs> yes. You've got a bloody walk a mile to yes. get there. You've got to pay for parking. Exactly. Well, what? <laughs> what and in Yarmouth, you Holcomb, don't. I'd say, is up there. Yep. Wells. Mate, Great Yarmouth is a, is a poor man's Whittlingham. <laughs> mate, don't even give... That's not even something to joke about. It's not nice to be wild up, is it, mate? <laughs> it's not something to joke about. Right, Friday night in Cardiff. Hmm. Um, my, the reason why I have been positive and <clears throat> I've just kind of got over it is because Cardiff are one of the best teams in the league. It was a way to one of the best teams in the league on a Friday night in a bad run of form when they were in a good run of form. And I just don't agree that you should just be coming out off the back of that game going sack the manager. All right, if it was at home, so for example, I get wound up about the home games because you know, Jack, from my opinion is you've got to win your home games in this league. Mm. I don't care who it's against, you've got to win your home games. And that's why the Burtons are, are frustrating. Um, and the Barnsleys as well but so for me when you go away from home especially in our run of form any point's a bonus point at the moment in my opinion uh, and you know I, I, I don't really care whether you agree or not to be honest <laughs> I think I agree with you to a certain extent I think if you if we were in a great run of form and we go away to Cardiff and lose 3-1 you can kind of accept it hmm? and, and as well as that their first goal was was strange. They scored and then it was disallowed and then it was a penalty. Yeah. But it should have gone, gone in. No, no, it should have gone in. Anyway. Yeah, okay. They deserve that. Poor marking from, from our point. Yeah, um, as always. The second goal, I thought was really unlucky. Um, a deflection, fell to Hoylet. I think he kind of sliced it in the top yeah, corner. Yeah, but you make your own luck, Jack. Hang on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to back you up here. No, don't back me up. I'm, I'm, let's, let's, just, let's just be totally honest. No, I am being totally honest. Okay, all right. 
Well, you do make your own luck, though, right? Yes, of course you do. All right, so the point is there, it fails to avoid it. I'm to defend you here. Yeah, but I don't want you to. <laughs> no, go on. Defend me. Uh, and the third goal was just crap. And we, and we should have defended it. We've conceded so many goals like that this season that have ended up costing us games. According to the people that went, However, we looked better. Yeah, we, I think we did. However, worries from that game. Nelson Oliveira looks like a man that where he did at Swansea and all of his previous clubs in terms of he's greedy, isn't scoring goals, is unsettled, I would say, in, in, in inverted commas. He's not the man that was say scoring. That? What evidence Once, have you got to say that he's unsettled at this football club? Apart from the fact that his body language isn't good on the football, I'm pitch. looking. I'm looking at his his previous clubs, his his, his career. Why? His Why? Career. Why? Who gives a shit about what he's previously done? Mate, he's at Norwich City Football Club now, Jack. You we've, look, we've given him a chance to shine. You look at. I like to look at patterns, and if I say consistent patterns, for me, that's good enough to base a logical opinion on. Okay. Nelson Oliveira's career has been one filled with poor goal scoring records, and short stays at clubs. That, to me, spells out a man who struggles to settle. However, when he was going through that great run of form and he came out with the quotes and he didn't move to Reading or Swansea, was he linked with? That said to me, right, he's found his home, he's scoring goals, he's doing great. For me, though, it's almost he's trying too hard. He wants that goal so desperately on the back of um, his injury. That piece of play where he didn't throw Hulahan in, criminal. Yeah, and, and before uh, that, and, and he's just shooting from stupid distances. And I, 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 I disagree with this shooting from stupid distances comment because fair enough, you get it on target, mate. We we you nearly been, bloody knocked us out at home the other week. We, all right, but as a club, in the last three to can you eat properly, please? <laughs> I'm so pleased that's caught on camera. <laughs> in the past three to four seasons. Mm. This club has been guilty from trying to pass the ball into the back of the net. Mm. And that's why I love Nelson Oliveira, because mm. he's not afraid to shoot from distance. However, I can understand that there is a point where it is a bit ridiculous. He's still getting back from injury. Mm. And if you want a Chris Reed deadline on that, by the way, I think you've got to give Nelson Oliveira another game. You've got to give him another game. Yeah, of course. You know, My, after... my, my only thing would be, if, if this was Cameron Jerome, he would be getting... Thrown under the bus. Yeah, but the difference is, is that if, if when we had this opinion of, so when Cameron Drone first signed and when he had a really good season in the championship, and then he didn't score, then he got pelts and deservedly so. Mm. And likewise, is happening with Nelson. He's had a really good run of form, and we can see the Norwich fans are frustrated because they know the potentials there. Yeah. Right, Cameron Jerome is run his time, and like let's just ignore Cameron Jerome for now. The thing with Nelson Oliveira is, let's just deal with the facts. The facts are, he's he's not scoring goals, yeah. and he's got bad body language. There's no other facts. Yeah. You can't say he wants to leave this football no, club. No, I didn't say that. I know, but a lot of people are saying that. You can't say that until the you question, have some evidence of that. The question is, and, and I think... I just think he's non-confidence, Jack. Yeah, if, think... you're mo- if you're not getting good deliveries, or you're not getting past you on the pitch, you are going to be a little bit fed up, aren't you? Here's a, here's a question I'll throw at you. Maybe Nelson doesn't want to leave the club. No one has any any logical reason to say that he does. Yep. Would you sell him? If the money was right. £8 million pounds has been... I think if... I mean, it depends what you say, like, if the money's right. I mean, I think this club probably needs money more than success at the moment. Mm. Sadly. I think this club needs to level out and one of the things that and one of the reasons why I am the way I am this season is because of that we we, we don't have money that we can just you know I almost did something very rude then we don't have money that we can just throw away on the likes of Naismith Lafferty Wolfswinkle Leroy Fur. we don't have that luxury anymore and therefore yes to answer your question Jack if the money was right for Nelson and we could source a replacement. Because let's not forget, it's not. It's so much more complicated than, you've got to sell Nelson in January, let's, let's cash him while we can. Well, A, someone's got to want him, yeah. but B, more importantly, I don't care about anyone else, I care about us. We've got to find the right replacement for Nelson. Mm. And <clears throat> the fans that are saying they want Nelson out, they're going to expect a better player to come back in. Yeah. And that, that, to be honest with you, I think you're going to struggle. Yeah. Uh, certainly this season... To find a better striker, 
I know he's in a bad run of form. In terms of money spent as well. Yeah, exactly, Jack. You're not going to be able to... And the other thing that a lot of people say is, we'll sell him for £8 million, and then we'll, we'll sign someone for 2.5 and be like, oh, it's Delia again. She's doing everything on the cheap again. Oh, I'm fed up with bloody old Delia. It's just ridiculous. Why is that? I think, I, think, um, I think your opinion on the whole money situation is a, is a noble one, isn't it? and it's one that's probably carried by a lot of fans in terms of, I'm not frustrated about this run of form because we don't have the money to spend. I think the opposing opinion to yours and the opposing opinion to a lot of people would be, well, I'm frustrated because we don't have money and because there is... Yeah, know, And yeah. it's not Delia's fault because <clears throat> she hasn't got more money. She's spent all she can. Yeah, but it's that reluctance to look for external investment that is probably the frustrating factor. And I completely agree with you. And at the same time, I completely get where other people's frustration is coming from. In terms no, I of do too. We've been a Premier League club for what five of the past I eight see, seasons. Yeah, I know, and I sympathise that as where's well. Where's the money? The pro- yeah, I know. Well, we know where the money is. It's been, we didn't as have any. Fo- said pissed up the wall by yeah. previous people. Yeah. Well, McNally. Let's Moxie. not pull any punches, McNally. He made the he made the killer blows, and so if you're going to start slagging off anyone, then he deserves more criticism than he's getting. At least he didn't take his bonus though when we got relegated. No, yeah, at least he didn't take his three hundred thousand pound bonus. I mean, that could have paid for Basongs and Laffy's wages for a week. <laughs> Look, can we? I want to make something clear. Delia isn't taking any money out of this football club. No, we we all know that. We, we all know that, right? We all know that. We all know that. Okay, good. I'm pleased we've settled that. The other thing is, I think Delia and Michael Wynne-Jones probably are actually okay with looking at some potential investors. They probably are okay with that. They've probably not gone about it in the best way possible. And in this current run of form, everything's under the microscope. Yeah. And this is why I was so blasé about it on Twitter on Friday night when we when we lost against Cardiff. Everyone is so extreme because everything's under the microscope because we're on a bad run of form. Do you understand that though? Because I I, I know kind of kind of can I, I can I, I go through your tweets and because a lot of people were throwing and it's very tough to kind of get your point across on Twitter and I don't think it's a good platform for that. Yeah. Sure. So maybe this is your chance to expand on your yeah that's fine absolutely okay, fine so oh by the way cheesy geeks are looking for a van driver yeah if you if anyone if you're is for a job um, yeah go on chris's twitter and you and if you're in norwich and want a job if you're a driver you need to be able to drive a van though can you drive a van do you need a separate license quite possibly right if you can drive a van and you live in norwich and you need a job and if you want to work with the funniest guy in norfolk at cheesy geezer why wouldn't you? Um, okay, so let's start with... Sure. This was this was <coughs> during the game. Okay. <laughs> Just for the record, delighted Mario Brancic is playing really well so far. Keep her yeah. up, lad, with a lady <clears throat> crying and applauding. So, so pleased with that. And is, so and so happy with the, and, and I'm. Is and he I'm playing pleased. well or is he just playing less <clears throat> crap than he was? Um, no, I will be honest. I thought, I thought in the first half against Cardiff, he was playing well. Mm. He was playing well. And that's why... I, I really was pleased to get that tweet out because a lot of people think that I, I hate Mary Vrancic. I don't. Again, I'm just frustrated that I can see this absolute gem of a player. I can see Andrew Lorne from a long come Norwich's point. There, there is an Ozil in him. There is. There is in there somewhere. But it's just unearthing it and it takes a lot of time. He's a, he's a player that, that we've got from abroad, from a relegated German league team and you just have to accept it. So, um, yeah, look, in, our, in response to that, I'm pleased. Okay, next one. Uh, this was quote, This you quoted this tweet. Uh, Russ, at Big Popper Pump 33. Maybe Twitter handle. Yeah, so, great. I'm Twitter. sorry, but we're going down. Oh. This guy in charge, worrying times. And you put, really, question mark? I just, I just think, like, a lot of people on Friday, they... Uh, I almost try to have this thing in my head. You'll notice at the home games... I don't tweet after a home game until about 45 minutes to an hour afterwards. Mm, because you can't get signal at the ground. <laughs> a, a, because I can't get signal at the ground. But B, I'm actually pleased that I don't get signal at the ground. By the way, Vodafone, horrendous. Yeah. Um, anyway, away from that. I think it's quite good to have that time period because you just make some ridiculous suggestions. Like, you can't... Lose to the best one of their look. Cardiff, in my opinion, should be up there with Wolves at the end of the season. 
They should be. They should be one of those teams. You can't lose that game and say sack the manager. And I know. And and before I get, and I'm sure loads of people are listening to this and watching this now and swearing at me, and I'm okay with that. But I can understand your opinion as well that we have lost a f- quite a few games, and it's not been a good run of form. So I can understand why. In theory, you would like the manager to be moved on. But you've got to ask yourself this question. Can the club upgrade the manager now? Nope. Who's better than Daniel Farker to do the job now? Neil Warnock. Mate, you're having a... I mean, look... Ian Holloway? <sighs> look, this Mitch is McCarthy's my point. out of contract at the end of the year. Oh, my... Look, <laughs> you get my point. By the way, how hilarious would that be? I'd take Big Mick. Oh, gee. He's an experienced championship manager. <laughs> God, I was honestly about to punch you then. My point is, you can't upgrade the current situation. This is the, my whole point about the fact that I'm not accepting, I'm frustrated that it is mid-table mediocrity. I am frustrated with that. But at the same time, you've got to learn to accept that we can't actually improve it as a football club right now. Hmm. What what can we do differently? Do you think... We've got some talented players, Jack. Yeah. Do you... We're playing the right philosophy of football. Do you think people are necessarily frustrated with Daniel Farker? Because I know you always say that you get annoyed with that. Like, yes, there's a few comments, but I still don't think there's many people frustrated with Daniel Farker. Unless I'm just looking at the right bits of the internet and not seeing these comments. But I, I, think, don't, I don't sense... Mm, I just sense... A, it was a minority. It, was a, it probably still is a minority, but I think that minority has grown after the after Friday night. Okay. Okay. Uh... Someone now, Connor, he added you and put, Chris, are you still waiting until until Christmas to start to worry? Now, your response was, of course I'm worried. I just don't want to make ridiculous statements like we're going down or Farker out before Christmas. It's extremely frustrating, but we've got to give this philosophy more time to bed in. Same happened to Huddersfield. That got 57 likes and about 40 replies. Um, decent engagement. It's almost like work in social media. <laughs> Mate, you have to... Uh, and this is what makes me giggle, right? All of these people that are giving me abuse, and I'm okay with that, by the way. You're more than welcome to do it on a regular basis. These are the people that were saying at the start of the season, oh, Daniel Farker, fantastic. so good that the club are so open about it. It's so good that the club are... Uh, uh, changing it and doing this new style of football like these people were moaning that we were doing things the boring average way then they were saying brilliant we've got Daniel Farker new style of football and were totally on board with Weber's message of patience mm. patience keyword for this season patience and now I mean basically people are throwing their, 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 their toys out the trolley and we're not even we're not even halfway through the season mm. Okay, uh, I, I must admit I did. I did enjoy this tweet. Oh, uh, I love this tweet! Fantastic tweet. Totally here. tete, but the, now this is full time. It's all right, guys. Chris Reeve will give that motivational tweet at full time to have faith and not give up on promotion. <laughs> we have the best fans in the country. This form will turn around. Come on, you yellows! Let's uh, back the boys all the way. Totally tete. You made my night. And you got, absolutely made my night. That got good engagement as well. And I also enjoyed the fact that after I retweeted it, he was, lo- he was loving it. Bless yeah. Him. Um, to be fair, he's a good lad. totally tete. Oh, God. Um, his bio, supporting Norwich, is quite challenging. Agree with that. Yeah. His, his at is Glenn Rode trying to kiss Delia. Yeah. Appreciate that. Uh, and te- we missed Tete. So, yeah. It's an all round yeah. good yeah. thing. Um, but it's true. I'll always, try, I'll always try and be positive if I can. Why wouldn't you be? Life's pretty dull otherwise. It is. Yeah, it is. Um, and you wish me happy birthday yesterday. Oh, happy nice. birthday, by the way. Thanks, mate. Everyone good. wish ha- wish Jack a happy birthday in the comments. You know what a really depressing thought is? <clears throat> if I live my life again, I'm going to be 40. Like, yeah. if I... Uh, that's, okay. And then I'm like, so a third of my way to mm. pension age, pretty much. Actually, you would probably never get a pension. Well, time well this is my point. I mean, to go, to you know, let's, let's, go, let's go in. Let's go deep. And, you know, quite frankly... This is why I'm a positive person. How old are you? I'm 20. Right. What's the average life expectancy in the UK? 80. Around 84, right? It's on the up. Okay. Yeah. You you haven't got long. No. 64 years. So why would you you spend it Mm. being infuriated Mm. 
over something that you shouldn't even be infuriated yeah, but, at yeah, yet, yet, you're, yet, yet, yet. You're, yet. You're, you're a successful man and you have to sometimes be realistic and, and say that this isn't working I and I need to change. Say that. You can't just, mate, you can't no, just go mate, blindly no, through things. No, no. And that's why I've said, Jack, God, I love how you've got me in here. And that's why I've set the Chris Reed Christmas deadline. And the, I'm, I'm that's where get, my realism will come in. Yeah, I'm going to get into under someone's question early. Actually. And I need to, I mean, we're going to go through. I'll all explain the, the Christmas. Bit. I'll explain the Christmas deadline and, and why it's in place. Yeah, let me just because it's quite important on, to on, give on, it some on, scope. Because just in case people don't know it, yeah. can I go in? Um, no, I'm trying to find. Okay, so Tom Cash. <sighs> now, big up Tom. Thanks for asking. Now he yes, says, Tom. Chris question. says, judge only after Christmas. Two questions. One, Love how got when is the Christmas deadline? Which game? Yeah. And two, what if after Christmas the form remains the same? And in that case, what's your solution? Okay. Good question. No, it's, it's brilliant. Questions. Two questions in yeah. there. Yeah. Multiple. Cashy. All of the questions. Classic from Cashy. Um, so the reason why the Christmas deadline is in place is because it gives mm. enough time for Daniel Farker to put his stamp and his style of football on the team. Yeah. It gives the players enough time to get used to Daniel Farker's style of football, the mm. philosophy. Mm. In theory, unfortunately, it hasn't worked because some people just can't comprehend the fact that we need to just have a, an average season to level out as a football club. The, in theory, the fans should be on side with it by Christmas. Mm. Unfortunately, that's not worked yet. Hopefully it changes. Basically, everything should be in place and perfect by Christmas. Mm. Every, there's, there's no excuse about time, settling in, players getting used to the league. My, my opinion is a player from the beginning of the season to Christmas has enough time to put his stamp on it, to try and muscle into the team if he's not in the team. If he's in the team and he's injured, he's still got enough time to come back and score goals, i.e. Nelson Oliveira. That's why the Christmas deadline's in place. My, my opinion is... If we lose every single game up until Christmas, which, by the way, won't happen, but if we did do that, quote me on that, by the way, if we did do that, obviously the Christmas deadline really is a Christmas deadline. But if we draw a few, we win a couple, and we still lose quite a few, the Christmas deadline is in place to say, right, is are we going to do this now? That's just my... And it's not a deadline for... I'm not saying... Absolutely, you must sack the manager, you know, on the 25th of December. Imagine it that. doesn't work like that. Oh, imagine that. Great. Yeah, exactly. Oh, good. Look, the, and, and in terms of the game, we discussed it um, before Cashy, because it was such a good question. We discussed it before the podcast. We've decided that basically, well, I've decided that Millwall is the game. Which so, is New Year's Day. Exactly. Because then you've had your Christmas dinner mm-hmm. and the players should be fired up for it. It's a new year. It's a new start. And if you bugger up at home to Millwall... So, I, I suppose that the second part of that question was, what if things don't change? Well, you've got, you've got, to, cha- you've got to change it and there. what changes? Well, I think first, I think, I think actually one of the things that you've got to consider is if you sack the manager, then... I can't even believe I'm talking about this. I actually feel bad that I'm talking about sacking the manager because it's so ridiculous to be talking about it right now. In my opinion, it's just a question. I think there'll be a lot of. I still. I think there'll be a lot of outs in January. I think okay. there will. Player wise, uh, yeah, and okay. and I think that if you sack the manager, then there's basically you're gonna keep a lot of the deadwood at this football club. For example, I think Stephen Naismith <laughs> will probably stay at this football club if Daniel Farker gets sacked. Um, in my opinion, the other part that I want to add on to that is. So we've got this Chris, Chris Reef Crisps deadline, which sounds like some kind of terrible promotion at Debenhams or something. <laughs> it's like get your get your get your discounts before. Mm. So I from like now, what's the date? The fourth of December when we're recording this to New Year's Day. Mm-hmm. So we've got about a month. Mm-hmm. In that time, we've got what eight games, something mm-hmm. like that. What is your expectation to see over the next month? And where would you be happy at in a month's time? The league can change so quickly. It's a tight league. It still is a tight league. If we thread together two or three wins, we're back in the mixer again. Yeah. Um, I I would expect us to win our home games. Okay. I would expect that. 
I don't care that it's against Sheffield Wednesday. So if we don't beat Sheffield Wednesday at home, you'll be disappointed. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent. I'll be very frustrated because you've got to win your home games. You've got to. Um, but I, I'm not going to expect to win any away games. Not one. Not Burton. Not one. Don't so you, think, I honestly don't think we'll win any of our away games. So you'll take a loss at Birmingham. And, and I'm fine with that. Birmingham, Birmingham. But in our form, I'm fine with that. My point is, as long as you win your home games. What changes so drastically from home to away? Why would you be happy to win because, your home game? Because your game? It's, it's, it's purely because of what's happened so far this season, Jack. We've been shite at home. We've not delivered. And that's why there's such a negative grey cloud over our supporter base at the moment. Because we're losing or drawing a lot of our home games. Mm. And I think that as soon as you win your home games, it lifts it. For example, if we win against Sheffield Wednesday at the weekend, I promise you it will change a lot of people's opinions on Daniel Farker, the style of football. It will. So, for me, win your home games. Right, so, um, yeah, we can agree to disagree that... Um, Are we? Why are we disagreeing? No, about, I was going to say about Cardiff. I think Cardiff's a really nice place. You've, you haven't been to Cardiff, have you? Right, can we... Can't have to judge a place if you haven't all been All right, there. all right. Let's, let's forget about Cardiff the place. Mm. Talk to me about the fan, the amount of fans at Cardiff. Yeah, that was odd. The second in the league. Gen- no, 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 it's not odd. It's Tin Pot. Oh, so Cardiff, you're ticking Cardiff off as another group of fans you're offending. I'm, I'm fine with Adding that. that to Leeds... What? what? Please, why do you always say that? I actually think Leeds is a decent football club. Okay. Where you've got it wrong is what is their defender's name that two foot the disabled? Janssen. Pontus Janssen, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't like that specific Leeds player, but I actually quite like Leeds as a football club. So you don't like you don't like Cardiff? I don't like Cardiff. Do you like Swansea? They're a Tim Pot football club. I'm. I'm. Look, they my, call, you know look what without don't... going into it too much, I personally don't think Cardiff and Swansea should be in the English football league. <laughs> <laughs> Should we leave that there? Because that, that discussion is, is a whole different it's discussion. Fun. Okay, fine. You know, I, Swansea fans call each other you jack bastards, don't they? Is and it, I, always... I prefer Swansea to Cardiff. Okay. 100%. Okay. Because Swansea... I just think Swansea are a you could, football club. From, um, m- my mum's from Wales. Play and, football. Um, my mum's from near Cardiff in a, in a valley is called Oldmore really? Vale. Yeah. Mum's Welsh. I'm so pleased I didn't go in too hard on... And, uh, no, Wales, I love though. the Welsh. I love... I love Wales is beautiful. The Welsh, the Welsh are great people. Um, but you could see from her, from one of her family's house, you could see the Liberty Stadium, and um, I've always quite liked Swansea. Always quite liked Swansea. Closet Swansea fan. Add that to being a closet Luton fan as well. No, oh, no, I just I, I do like. Stop I do digging quite it hard. Like, um, Next question. You know a player I miss. Oh, Talk about Cardiff. Kenwyn Jones. Miss him a little bit. I thought we, I, I liked Kenwyn Jones. <laughs> Lee or Lee used to play for Swansea. Um, do you remember it, Ched Evans' goal against Cardiff? Yes. Jeez. Should we skim over Ched yeah, Evans? Yeah, let's. <laughs> um, Niall Ray. Hello, Niall. I hope you're well, mate. He said, this is just a random one. He just Snapchat me. We need to get a Barclays safe stand in the area and a group of ultras. Anyone who doesn't like this should be moved because the atmosphere at Carrot is shocking. <laughs> Fair enough, mate. We can accept that. Um, Trevor Cleary has taken a picture of his sofa and put on free. Um... We were, we were going to ring... I think he wants a phone hell. call. I think he wants a phone call. Blood, I think, so uh, many people have... So yeah, we put out Snapchat. I used Snapchat for the first time in like three months. Because say, Snapchat's an awful social do, media platform, by the um, way. I think it's still got a hell of a lot of value. Um, Why do you think that, Jack? Should we go into that or not? You know it's a dying platform. It's got one of the best retention rates of any social media platform ever. It's it's dying. Okay, cool. Um Love how you know you're wrong. <laughs> I'm not wrong. You are wrong. Um, I'm gonna sk- I'm gonna skip over this this Snapchat thing. Or shall we? Why is it just abuse? I just it, it's it's an unknown quantity, isn't it? Well, let's do it. It's like hosting a, an even. Yeah, an let's even, do one random. It's like Canary call. call without the switch. Let's no. Let's do one random call. What question should we ask? Do you like gravy? Or oh, onion gravy? Go on. Let's no, do it. not. What should we ask? What question? Are you worried? Yeah. About life? Yeah. Do you have... Are you okay? No, 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 no. I mean, in all seriousness, let's ask them a question about Norwich City Football Club. Let's go. Jack Lincoln. Yeah, Jack... Oh, Jackie. Jack Lincoln. Oh, Lincoln. Put it... Put it next to the mic, Jack. Come on. I thought it'd be louder than this. Can you hear it? Come on, Jack. This could be quite bad if you can't hear. <laughs> I think some people... 
Is this as loud as it gets? Jack, in terms of entertainment value right now, I think we've probably lost quite a few viewers. This is probably an all-time low. <laughs> right, bin it. Oh, someone's... No, it, his, my phone's vibrating. Oh! Can't talk right now. <laughs> Rejected! <laughs> just been hung up on. <laughs> and that says it all, mate. And that's where we are as a football club He's right now. He's probably having his tea. Right. We'll let him off. Right. Um, right, one more chance. We'll try one more. No, he didn't even want to come on. Harry, no. Um... Bottle Wanderers, no. What? Paul Goldsmith, no. Oh yeah, by the way, we've got Chelsea in the FA Cup. Yeah, so up for it. Yeah? So up for it. Put Eden Hazard in my fantasy football team this week. Um, Alright, Daniel. Mm-hmm. We're giving him a ring. Come on, Daniel, don't hang on from us. If you're actually watching this right now, I'm impressed. <laughs> Daniel! Daniel? Hello, Dan. Can you hear me, Daniel? Yes, mate. I can hear you, Joe. Daniel, top man. You're, you're on the podcast. We've, we've tried to phone quite a few people and no one's answered. So appreciate you uh, you giving us some love and attention. That's all right, mate. Question. Are you worried? Not in life in general. We don't want to know that. Are you worried about Norwich City? Um, no. Why? I think... Talk, talk to... Around. Chris. Chris is probably in your camp. He probably yeah. agrees with you. I'm pleased you're not worried. Well, we had that nine game run of form mm. and turned it around straight away. We do that again, we're straight back playoffs. What what bit of form are you talking about, mate? Uh, the nine game on beat one. Okay. And we've okay, so you you think we can turn this run of form around? Yeah, I genuinely do. What makes you say that? Just faith. He's just, just, he, is it, faith. Daniel, is, faith. Is this a switched on guy? Is this blind faith? We need more fans like you. <laughs> no, I, I don't really think we can do it. Yeah, of course we can. This is it, Jack. What? What is all of the negativity? Like we've we're on a bad run of games, yes. But Daniel's right. He's so right. Keep the faith. We've been in League One. Mm. We've lost to Ipswich mm. in previous life, and we've still we've had a shocking season, and we've still beaten Ipswich. Daniel, love it. Daniel, are you, are you optimistic for this weekend's game, mate? Um, yes. Sheffield Wednesday haven't had the best year either, to be fair. That's fair. That's a fair point. Are you worried about Gary Hooper's return? Mm. You're just not he's worried, gonna, are you, Daniel? He, he is going to score. Yeah. He's gonna, well, yeah. <laughs> he's going to score. That's an absolute bank. Uh, well, uh, mate, I, hope, I, I wish I was as chilled out about life as you. You, you seem like... Daniel, I really, really like you. Well, I to sit a couple of rows back from you to the Barclay, mate. So. You sit two rows back for us in the Barclay? Do you? Yeah, just a couple. Do you, join in with the, do you join in with Chance? Yeah, definitely. Love that, mate. Blocky's full. Love that, I love that. Good um, boy. Let's um, let, let's catch up under the lights at Car Road. Yes, mate. Mate, yes, thanks, thanks, for, thanks for this and uh, have a nice evening. You too, bud. See you later. Bye-bye. Cheers. Oh, Daniel's I'm nice. so pleased you managed to find the one Norwich fan that's positive. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, thanks, mate. And um, good, brilliant, good. Um, questions? Yeah, let's get in some Twitter questions, go on, shall go we? On. So we've tweeted out and said, "Can we have some questions?" And you guys, well, no, you prerogatively said, "Attack Chris Reeve." Basically, no, I didn't. I said, basically basically said, I said, "Chris Reeve is willing to justify positivity." Okay, okay. which is which, which is, is factually true. correct. Yeah. Um, let's start with. Um, Terry's mate I've had a lot of that actually <laughs> you have had over half of that Terry chocolate I know very impressed so many questions um, let's start with the first question we got actually bloody hell there is a lot of questions um, Tom asks how did you meet how did you both meet your SOs now I think this is just a horrific typo and he meant GFs although S and O and GF are they near the key no they they're near. what does SO mean so solly son sun shout sun shower SOs I've no idea what SO means, but should we just make the question up and say you How did you how GFs? did you both meet your your GFs? Your girlfriends. Okay. <laughs> and these both have loose Norwich City links. <clears throat> if it wasn't for Norwich City, we might both still be single. Very true. That's just a bit tragic, isn't it really? <laughs> 
Yeah, but we, we both need happy do you think lives. A, do you think a lot of people? Do you think a lot of people meet the love of their life at Norwich City Football Club? Yeah, but the weird thing is, is Becky isn't a massive. She does. Does she really like football? She she, she is a big Norwich fan. Is she not big? <laughs> like she wouldn't lose sleep if we lost to Ipswich. Becky's rule is, if Norwich lose, then kind of like. You can be passionate of the game, but mm. she gets annoyed when I'm still barking on about it at 10 o'clock on Sunday. I think that's a very good way to look at football, but it's the way no one looks at football. Yeah, in theory, it's it's easy to do that, but it's not easy if you are passionate about it. Talk me through how you met Be- Becky then. Well, basically, I um, oh, this is really quite an interesting question, actually. I didn't expect this one. I don't. Well, it, it wasn't a question. We've made it up, but well, I, I don't know what SOs I, is. Well, pretty much I Tom, used... let us know what SOs I is. used to work at Delia's Canary Catering as a waiter. Love it. And um, basically, it, I was doing silver service at... Um, do you know what silver service is, Jack? Like, top-level waiters. But waiter. kind of, basically, silver service is you walk around with the plate and you serve people's food for them. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, In yeah, front of them. yeah. Beef, sir? Yeah, no problem. Beef? A bit of broccoli? You know what was a nightmare? The peas, they go everywhere. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 I know. Don't even take me there. Anyway, so when you silver serve, yeah. you, it's one waiter per person, and I luckily okay. got Becky. So it's quite an intimate moment. So I got down, I got down nice and close to Becky, I went, Madam, would you like some beef? <laughs> <laughs> And she went, and she, <laughs> and she said, yes, I would like a piece of you. <laughs> that was your opening line. She definitely, she probably didn't say that, um, but she did want a piece of the beef. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, this is bad. Isn't it? So oh, your first I really, ever line I really hope she to, your, I really to the love of your life was, was, would you like some beef? <laughs> Quite possibly. Anyway, so then I went away, um, you know, thinking, who is this really gorgeous blonde chick? Who loves beef. Who loves beef in Norwich City. Yeah. And um, I helped her get a picture with Simeon Jackson. <laughs> brilliant. Another one. Yeah, brilliant. And then I met her in the gun club again. And, okay. Um, in, She's a... She, she was in... Culture, the, yeah, lady yeah, going yeah, into the yeah. hospitality. Yeah. She, she was in the gun club and she said, I like your boots. And then <laughs> I just went from there, really. So, yeah. Wow. What about you, mate? What are your Norwich City girlfriend links? Now, this is a slightly more loose... Actually, no, it isn't. So Loose. Loose link to Norwich City. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing is that. No. Let's leave that there. Why um, are these podcasts so, are so explicit, aren't they? My first ever season ticket, and I only found this out, my first... Because in the days of having to go on a waiting list for a season ticket, mm. when, when season tickets were actually popular... Yeah. Um, Still are. So the first ever seat I could get as a season tick holder was at the very top row, the very back row of the Upper Barclay. Mm. Now you used to sit in the Upper Barclay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upper Barclay for 12 seasons. So the very back of the... And we were so high up you couldn't see the scoreboard at the other end because you know the roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now Jenny um, sat roughly around that area but I didn't know about it at that time. Ooh. So we were at the top of the Barclay. Okay. We then moved. Did she start the chance? And you kind of like look back and went, who started? Well, I couldn't look back. There was nothing, nothing behind me. Okay, look forward. Um, so we then moved and I moved to the upper NMP because it was a better view because we could mm. actually see the pitch, yeah, which, yeah. Which, is always, which always helped at football. Yeah. Um, and we could see the scoreboard as well because I used to take I used to take a stopwatch to know how long the game has gone. No. <laughs> yeah. Did you really? Yeah, because I couldn't see the scoreboard That's and I don't wear a watch. So we used to take a stop, stop watch. So we moved to the, to the upper NMP and we had best seats in the house. I loved the seats of the upper NMP. You know where the sky camera is? Right, so you've got the yeah, scoreboard. I do know exactly and the sky camera is mm. right behind. Yeah. So we were about two rows behind him. So mm. any highlights, we could look on his screen. Nice, so nice. It's basically like sitting in a press box. It was okay. awesome. Just the atmosphere was dead. Um, and Jenny was two rows in front. And if you look back, which is very strange, if you look back at my very first match day experiences, you can see the back of her head in them. Ooh. Yeah. So, anyway, she went to um, college with some of my mates from school, so I kind of loosely knew her, and I was like, she's, she's nice. She's, you know. Um, <laughs> now, this is, this is like four years ago. Jack, I think we could be ruining our podcast right here quite <laughs> Sorry. I think, that, I think people probably, no, no one cares, do they? Um, so, yeah, that was like four years ago, and I, I had her on the radar, you know. Right, okay. 
in, I your, think in your pipeline. It was in my academy. She, she was on your trans. She was, you know, she was on the transfer market, and you kind of, you know, possibly looked for a long term deal. Mm. But I wanted to, yeah. So you know, um, could you only get a loan at that at that time? I was pro- I, I'm still am punching above my way, uh, but probably definitely would have only been a, an emergency loan deal at that time. Um, and you know, we got talking like three Agents, years later yeah okay um, wow what and, a really long time to go through then yeah and, uh, Incredible. and now here we are and good. Uh, so I'm pleased the deal's over the line really pleased and good ha- next question happy happy, happy as happy feel as Larry a bit, I feel a bit awkward talking about that Jack why I don't know you just do well it's nice that Norwich City gave us gave us love beef and Norwich and Peterborough. Yeah, Norwich City have given me a lot, to be fair. Not only have uh, Norwich and Peterborough two given me jobs. a fantastic interest rate on my savings account, they've also given me a girlfriend. And then they... they got they've... ruined by the Regency Securities. Yeah, and, they, and then they stopped doing manking. Mm. Jack, pick up the pace. Willemots. Have... Yeah, oh, here he is. Here he is. Welcome back, Willemots. Welcome back. Has he changed his bio? He's kept his profile. Oh, he's changed his header. Has it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And this looks to me like a finely cut bowls pitch. Oh, hello. Mm. Oh, mate, look at that surface. It's just, it's quite frankly, you, you can't get a better surface than than, than from Willemots, can you? No. I'm not sure what's going on with that gift there, Willemots, but... A ch- a laughing Chinese baby. Um, he <coughs> said, "No question tonight, lads. Just want to lighten up, up the podcast." Yeah, go on. When Wait, Norwich played Bayern Munich and into into, I think he said into Milan. Then into Milan. Yeah. Our company sprayed the pitch with a green dye so it looked good on telly. True fact. Keep positive. We'll turn it all around. Well, at, at Norwich City, or yeah, at? they sprayed the pitch green so it looked better on telly. Is that still a thing? Surely that's against no, health and safety. No, no, now. no. I, I'm... Is that? I'm wow, not, that's I'm such sure good that trivia. A, yeah, I love that. I love that, and I'm pretty sure it is a thing. Well, it definitely is. It used to definitely be a thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that'd be allowed now. Probably would be. Yeah. Can you remember? You know the black pellets at five side. Yeah. Do you remember when everyone said that they'd give you cancer? You no, that? I don't. That was a thing. A genuine was it really? thing. Yeah. Oh well. I don't think it does. <laughs> Hopefully not. To play five side every week. Um. <laughs> Harry Kendall, what is so different about Farker, and why is no one treating him the same way they t- they um, taught? They taught <coughs> yeah, that'll do. Sacked in the morning, etc. Because the, the, the run we're in at the moment was just relative. as bad as. It's all relative, depending on the club situation at that given time. How much money they've got, what squad they've got uh, to to attack with, and quite frankly, at the moment, we've got you know we've repl- we've sold a lot of players. We've sold a lot of players. And we've replaced them with players that cost a lot less. So you can't really judge Daniel Farker like you could judge Alex Neal. Bray Jones asking the big question. Would you rather sit on a hot or cold toilet seat? Ooh, good question. Now, how cold is cold and how hot is hot? Because that, you're, you're, you're looking at the difference between, well, blisters in either way, aren't you? Mm. Too hot, you get blisters. Too cold, you get blisters. I think hot for me. I think hot. Nice and warm to kind of settle in. You know what I think one of the most underrated things in life is, and, I, and I've never been lucky enough to have this myself. Where are you going with this? Underfloor heating in your bathroom. Okay. One, of, one of my mates had a underfloor heating in his bathroom. I just used to love going around there. Mm. Bare feet, yeah. having a wee, just the, the, the heat rising through the floor. It's not like in the, in the Barclay when you go to the urinal and it's kind of like... Everything is stone cold. Yeah, I don't. You know go, what makes me laugh? Their bare feet, though. Do you know what makes me laugh about the toilets in Norwich City? No. They have one of my jobs when I was working there was putting up the posters around uh, the club. Okay. And the, the posters Chief in the poster urinals board. never get changed. Do they not? They literally barely ever get changed. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, but the posters in, in your urinals are always pretty um, outdated. Yeah, they are. Probably because no one wants yeah. to change Evergreen them. content in the toilets, so they don't have to keep replacing them. Mm. Edward, <laughs> and also Max, asked, <clears throat> Chris, yeah. what's the most attractive thing about Jack and Jack? 
It's the most attractive thing about Chris. Jack, I'm seriously questioning this podcast tonight. <laughs> I actually feel like we should stop it. No. I mean, goodness me. I think you're Where, most attractive. Are you feature. honestly are you honestly ask, answering this question? Yeah, but the people want it and the people are going to get it. Okay. Oh, this is the I'm man sure who saw will. Louis Theroux. Oh, respect him. Answer yeah. his question. Um, <clears throat> the most attractive thing about you, the fact you're just, you're just blind optimism. Oh, was this a personality thing? Well, or a... anything. Looks at... <laughs> <laughs> um... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You're struggling, aren't you? No, there's, no, 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 no. There's just... I could, I could go quite bold here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I could. Or I could, you know, give you an average answer like you gave me. Go bold. Um... No, I don't, I don't think I no, don't just think go I, bold. No, I don't what think is I, it? I don't know. What is it you find? Can we come back to this question? No. <laughs> <laughs> Boost my ego. No, I think we should go back to it. No, I want you to answer it now. No, no, no. What, let's go what, back to it. what is it? Um, I don't know. I don't even have an answer yet. Any features about me that you know? Maybe, maybe your, maybe your chest hair coming through there, mate. Oh, I have got. It's kind of. It's like it's yeah. more neck hair. Yeah. Hmm. Your neck hair. My neck hair, wow. Yeah, that's my answer. Wow, that's... Uh, wow. Thank you. Jesus Christ, that was awkward. Ah, oh, this is a good question. You were talking about weddings a few weeks ago. Who would you prefer on a stag do? Big Dave or Snads? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, well, Big Dave would get you there. Yeah. I tell anyway. you what, Big Dave... I've said it in a few actually experience. That man no. literally knows... The entire United <laughs> Kingdom's road network. It's mad, isn't he it? He loves roads. I, I can't... <laughs> can you imagine loving roads as much as... Could you just imagine loving roads? He, he, he has such like a passion who, for the game. Yeah, like, who knows the connecting road between, you know, the West Brom and Blumen? It's just like... Who knows that information? He is a... He is... You don't have Tom Toms, you have Dave Daves. He is just a he is a sat nav. If you if your but, sat nav fails, but, you want Big but, Dave in but the car. To be I'm gonna I'm gonna back Snads. So you'll be Dave, I'll be Snads. Snads for me, you would just have an absolute ball of a time, wouldn't you? You'd get slaughtered. You'd get absolutely slaughtered. Yeah. You'd be rolling around with your top off in mud and you'd probably get kicked out of mercy. Because that's what Snads likes to do. <laughs> Snads, I love that. I lo- he, he put an Instagram. He is a boy. He put an Instagram from Mercy on on, um, on on yesterday. He does love the and game, the caption was always out and about. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Um, yeah, lives lives for the drink. Just yeah. loves Prince of Wales Road. Beer is his water. Just such a good guy. I'd take them both. I'd pay for them to both come. Fair enough. I, I, I really would. Yeah, hit me. Next question. Um, R- Rory saying, first of all, happy birthday, Jack. Thank you. Only a day late, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Um, day late is cool. Day either side, I can deal with that. Um, would you rather Norwich stay the same or lose the community club tag but be owned by a billionaire? So investor comes in, pumps millions and millions of pounds mm. in, but we, we lose that community aspect. What community aspect do we have as a football club right now? That is a good question. By the way. That is a good question. By the way, can you can you name me one thing that's community about a football club? Apart from Well, I don't know. Community Sports Foundation. They do some good work. But that there. would still be a thing, even if Yeah, exactly. So that'd still be a thing. Um What's so community about our club? I don't that is a very good point actually. What do it, they, this this, this what, community what they... name tag is thrown around. <clears throat> What makes us different to, to Ipswich in terms of a community club? We wouldn't go that far. No, what, what is the difference then? I think, I've, I've said it quite a few times, I think that there should be more of, you know, there should be more incentives for fans away from home. For example, mm-hmm. right, we're going to Swansea, we'll pay for your tickets there and back. I know it's expensive. But is my, it? But my is God... It? Yeah, it is expensive, but my god, it gets it gets the fans on the side, and my god, it means the world. And it's probably the difference between, you know, negative bill mm. 
who's 45 for, for renewing. But does is that being a community club? I don't know, Jack. What, what defines being a community club well, for you? No, no, it's a really good question. The reason why I put it in, in the room is I don't know myself and I don't think a lot of people know. Mm. I think that's a good point. I think the reason we're a community club is because we're the only team in Norfolk, professional club in Norfolk, and no, you don't have anyone else to support. What do you guys think? Why are we a community club? Answer that question yourself. Club. I mean, f- from my point of view, I absolutely love Dealer and Michael, and I don't think you'll ever get owners that will passionately care about this club as much as they as much as they do. But does that but, make you a community club? But does it? I don't know. <laughs> We don't know what community club right. means. Right, Let, let's do a final question. John Rogers, he follows me. Let's do a final question. Darren Huckabee. He follows a lot of people there. Top one. Freezer. He loves it. Dave Freezer, legend. Oh, Bob Rutler. Um, Go on. I'm just, I'm just trying to find... We um, are really boring our viewers today. I'll tell you who my favourite follower is, Jack Reeve. No, he's top a good, he's a good boy, isn't he? Yeah, he's a top guy. Um, top boy. I'm going to make up a question. What meat do you have with your Sunday roast? I mean, look, there's a wide debate about you know pork and bit and beef and you know, and I'm okay with that. But for me, there's nothing better than a nice, real tender piece of turkey with your Christmas dinner no I'm not talking turkey. oh are you not going Christmas oh which case no. beef yeah, really? you know what I like about about. by the way I'm so sorry if you're if you're vegan or vegetarian now Because and by the way I'd love to I'd love to be a vegan but anyway back to the question there's nothing better than a big joint of beef and you see it in, in the carvery mm. and you see the knife go through it mm. and there's just like a bit of just a just a touch of blood just yeah. a touch of blood so kind of like <clears throat> you, you, you're looking and at it return, always really gets it... your juices kind of flowing as well <laughs> 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 always medium rare okay um, how do you like your meat Jack um, on the bone <laughs> <laughs> Oh please! Lamb shank for me. Oh god! Yeah. Yeah. Had, a, had a lamb shank yesterday, and I literally picked the bone up, and the meat just flopped off. It was just... <laughs> the camera stopped. We're back. So, <laughs> do you honestly, once again, much like Latham's? Oh, don't, don't please. Um, I think lamb falling off the bone is is one of life's glorious happenings. Okay. You keep whatever, you can do whatever you want with your meat on the bone, Jack. <laughs> it's been another good podcast. <laughs> it's been a special podcast. Can you almost tell now that there's not really anything <laughs> new to talk about regarding Norwich City? Basically, we, we, keep we losing. haven't spoken about Norwich City. We keep losing. We're playing the same style of football. Should we just have a chat show? Should we change it to the the local? You podcast? know what? I was I was I was baking <laughs> some cakes on Saturday. This is what I do. Oh my god. <laughs> My life. To be fair, I was shopping for curtains. We literally live the life of a fifty-year-old woman. Do you realise that? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I'm very okay with that. If I had my mum's lifestyle, I'd be very happy. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I was making these cakes and <clears> uh, had five live on. It was great, actually. And it was it was much more pleasurable than going to Caro on a cold day when we're losing. I must admit, I was making some cakes for work, and um, I don't even know where this. Oh yeah, what cakes did you go for? I went for a Victoria sponge and I went for a chocolate cake. Okay. Mm. Just because it's it's variety, isn't it? My my specialism is um is a lemon drizzle. Oh yeah. Or banana bread. Good. Yeah, like I love banana bread with some natural yogurt in the morning. We've not spent any time talking no, about no, what, City. I, no, I, we I, don't I, really I, care. I know what I was going to say about this. <clears throat> I was thinking to myself when I was making them cake. I would love to have a cooking show. Are you being serious? And where you just talk about life at the same time. Should we make it happen? Genuinely. Yeah. Yeah? Like, I'd love to be... Should we do a podcast whilst cooking something? That could be carnage. I just think there's something so nice about cooking. <laughs> okay. No, 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 I'm fine. Okay, that's fine. So should we do it? Do the people want to see it? Yeah, I mean, let us know if you want to see us cooking. But if, but if you don't, I, I don't blame you. I, basically what we're saying is, are you bored now? <laughs> <laughs> 
the only reason why people watch this. Yeah, jeez. If you've got to this point, by the way, congratulations. If you've got to this point, you've got... Put in the comments... I've got... Hashtag... No, put I hashtag? like my meat on the bone in the comments. If you've got this... Oh, and then we geez. will know... Oh, jeez. And then we will know that you've got this far. Chris, it's been a pleasure. Hopefully, we're on telly on Saturday. Not us. Norwich are on telly. Mm. So if we lose, it'll be in front of the nation. That's something to be positive about, is it? On the Bull City. Yeah. Keep the, the faith. Yeah, keep the faith. And if not, don't worry. Have a, have a lovely week. And, um, mm. and, and yeah, make the most of the week because the weekend is soon coming and we're going to have to watch Norwich again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.